nations. It's so, I'm so happy to, to see you all here. So again, welcome. Now, let me introduce our speaker. Our speaker is Adam Wallach, who is a very successful entrepreneur and investor. You'll hear more about Adam's business during the interview. And I believe that you will also see that Adam is a man of brave decisions and clear values. Adam lives in Czech Republic. By nationality, he's Polish. And he used as a mother tongue, very special language, which is Ponashimu. And uh, uh, translated, it means like, as we speak, it's a special combination of Czech, Slovak, Polish, and German. So it is, it is a very special language. So if you want to, to know this uh, peculiarity about uh, Adam, you can ask him later. So Adam, welcome. We are so happy to have you here today. Oh, thank you, Honza. It's a great privilege to be with all of you and, and good afternoon from Czech Republic to all of you. And uh, let me tell you briefly about uh, our company, how we built our company before we start the question. So I would uh, like to share um, It was my first question for you. How did Walmart become, become such a successful company? So just continue, please. Okay, so I will share a several slides with you. In 1989, before Velvet Revo after Velvet Revolution, I just graduated from the university and it was great time for the startups because political changes and with my two brothers we are four boys and with my two brothers we start company completely from scratch because as i mentioned it was great moment for startup we do software company export import but it soon crystallized in beverages company division and pharmaceutical division so we we step by step, we bought the first bottling line, second bottling line, and we add value. And finally, we had a three big production plants in uh, two in Czech Republic, one in Slovakia. And our beverages, our juices uh, were number one in Czech Republic and still also number one. When you go to the supermarket in Czech Republic, you see the Relax brand. We also built pharmaceutical uh, line we start uh, uh, importing over-the-counter OTC medicine and food supplements. Finally, we build a huge production plant in, uh, in Czech Republic with the 1.6 billion, billion tablet capacity here in Czech Republic. And we had uh, uh, branches in several countries in the Eastern Europe, Russia, Ukraine, also in, in Paris. We, we had around 800 employees. And uh, we, in 2011, we were named with my two brothers as a EUI entrepreneur of the year. It was a great success. I would say a, a great blessing for us. We are Christians, so I, I would like to say this. Yeah, it's briefly about our company. Thank you very much, Adam. Uh, uh, this is a tremendous success, uh, and uh, you worked on that very hard. Uh, but uh, you were not alone. You mentioned that you grew up with a big number of people. I would like to ask you uh, how you worked with your team, uh, so you made with them Walmart so successful. Uh you know what, Arts, I strongly believe that the, that the company culture plays a significant role. People grow and flourish in a great and friendly environment. So, and we were a family business. We were not corporations. So there was no politics. There was transparency, openness, trust, honesty. And the, I strongly believe that first who then what. We were blessed to form a, a, a good team of people uh, with the same values. You know what, Honza? It's not mm. easy to work with people or to build startup with people, but it's almost impossible to work with people with different values. 
Hmm. And there was a great joy and fun. You can imagine market was empty. It was like startup. And we were blessed by people because they lived for the vision and were driven to do what's the best for the company. So, uh, and also I believe that if you want to get some success building organization or company, it's much more important to design company than its products or, or ideas. If you have a right structure and the right, or right organization, right environment, right company culture, the ideas, it will produce ideas and good products. This all creates extra ordinary environment and contribute much more to the company's success. So it's not having, I have a good ideas, great ideas, great products, build first a great culture. And it is, this is a hub for, for creating good, good ideas. And uh, also we try to give people authority and space. So we try to serve them. And when you have a good team, give them authority, give them, give them space. And uh, so as a three brothers, we moved quite soon from the executive position. And also there was a rotation on the CEO role. I was the first CEO. My brother Marius was the second for eight years and Valdemar, so this rotation. And after, after 12 years of company, we appointing a CEO, which is, who is not from the family, but we raised him in the, in the company. Hmm. And uh, also I strongly believe that some that integrity, humility, we are not perfect, for sure not. But uh, humility in, in, in means, in my opinion, that is today's success can be tomorrow, can be further tomorrow. So in, and we saw it several times. In during the, for example, crisis in 2008, and uh, something like honesty, integrity, people will want to work with you if you see your integrity and good values. Nobody wants to wants to work with with people who are unfair, you know. So, right. but don't not only declare it but leave it, leave it, and it is. It is something, it's not possible to learn overnight. It's maybe some, it's a spiritual growth. It's a, it's a family legacy. It's, it's your moral conviction. So that's, in my opinion, contribute and form a good thing. And maybe the last, uh, very important, uh, we, were, we, we didn't have a one charismatic leader. We were more like team. It is... It could sound strange because we know these leaders like Steve Jobs, Jack Welch, but it was not our case. We were more the team uh, uh, who tried to come to con consensus more. So it was more about the team and complementary team with the good values than about one charismatic leader in our company. Mm. It's briefly probably to wrap up why when I, when I imagine how we start our company and what, why, how we build our company. Thank you very much, Adam. You, you said many the very important things. If you were to like pick out of those things, like two or three most important uh, principles, leadership principles, what would them be? What, what, what I saw in my company first, who then what? It sounds strange, but try to firstly form a, the team, the group of people, even you don't know what to do. When we start our business, our company, our, our, uh, we didn't know exactly what we are going to do, but we, had a good, we have a good team. So that's very important. And I, I repeat again also, try to create great culture for this team. And if you have a competent people, if you had a great culture, it will bring a great ideas and products. That's that's it. Hmm. Thank you very much. Uh, during your uh, leadership role, either CEO or other roles, uh, you had to make a lot of decision. decisions, sometimes very difficult decisions. Uh, could, you, could you tell us what decisions 
which you have made during your career uh, in Walmart was the, the most important for that giant Walmart success? Uh, when I look back, there were several milestones, several milestones in, in the history of the company. Uh, I would like to, to speak about maybe two of them. Please. And one was the option program and, this, and, the, and the other was the, the uh, international expansion. But what I mean by option program, in 1999, after nine years, we, we decided to share our success with, with our people. So we gave them the top managers, it was about eight top managers, we gave them uh, about 12% of the share of our company. So we would like to share our success with the people. Uh, even early in the 90s, we, we tried to have a quite good system of bonuses, but the people feel like a family. And uh, I would say, be generous with people. If you have a good team, be generous with them. And uh, I would also say there is something like if you are company shareholders, uh, it's something like deferred gratification. We, we didn't like much people who asked us very often, oh, oh, what I will have from being your employee. What is my benefit? What is my bonus? Increase my salary. We, we, more, we more count on the people who trust us, who like the company, who did the best for the company, and in the end, we rewarded them. Mm -hmm. So it's much better to have a firstly somebody who is a loyal, and if you have a good people, loyal people, it's a very good to reward them. To, to share the success, to share the financial success with them. And it helped much of our company. And you know what? Some of these people from the beginning are still with us, even in our new investment company. And wow. the, the second, yeah, it's, uh, yeah it, it, it worked and it still works. And, uh, and it's probably, it could be a bit against today's culture because Nowadays, people want to have a benefit right now, immediately. Give me right now. I, I want to have a money right now. I don't want to wait. I, I, I don't trust you. Give me money right now. And uh, so this is not a good approach for me. And uh, most, all of our good people were different in this. And they, they, they trust, they believe in the company. They trust us. They, they were a good part of the, of the team. And the second very crucial decision or maybe one of the milestones was uh, when we decided for international expansion you know what czech republic is not a big market it's only 10 million people and if you want to grow you have to expand abroad and it's it was not easy because in 1998 when we decided we had no much experience and in at that time we had a two division beverages and pharmaceutical so we had to set some matrix matrix structure when we roll out our company first to slovakia romania poland baltic countries uh, 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 ukraine uh, russia and uh, and to, to paris to france the last uh, and it was not easy and we had not experience but at that time one of our main uh, uh, main uh, provider of the packages for the beverages was Tetra Pak. And we knew that Tetra Pak Swedish company also had a many operations all over the world. So we asked them for help. They invited us for five days seminar. So we spent five days in Lausanne and we, we have learned about how to build international structure. And, uh, and it was also about finding the right people in these particular countries, because you know what? Europe is very fragmented and a different mentality, different culture. Um, and it was, a, it was a great, great decision. It was very important milestones. Yeah. Uh, I can imagine how difficult uh, those questions, uh, those uh, decisions had to be, uh, like to give a significant part uh, of your shares to your uh, your guys, or even going uh, 
internationally, these are difficult, important decisions. And sometimes uh, as uh, we lead others, uh, we need to, to, to someone to, to back up us, to, to care about us, because we sometimes are not certain or not sure about the decisions. Uh, I mean, uh, I know that you are the man of a family, that, that you are, have a very strong family among brothers and even your own family. I would like to ask you um, how uh, your family in this situation was supporting you. Uh, you know, family is very important for, for me. And I would start with my, with my two brothers. We are four boys. The oldest one is Serbian Babi. It, it is not easy to build business with three brothers. We, we argue also, we had a different, or we have a different view, different opinion. But the family is a so great value. So we, we, we have never fallen apart. I, I know several companies which fall apart, uh, even family companies, but it was very, very important. We are Christians and the Bible is our authority, so we really keep together, even sometimes have a, having a different opinion. Mm. And uh, also, I would like to tell you something about, and it's biblical, in Ecclesiastes, for, for, for is a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. But also, a very important role played my, my, my parents. You know what, uh, mm -hmm. from my parents and family, I have learned and experienced what success means. It's not power and money, but relations. I, I used to say that, that good, good education, Harvard, Oxford, Cambridge, is okay, for sure. Uh, but the most important and the best university is your home. And my, my, my parents' home, my childhood was the top Harvard because uh, I, I have learned uh, important values there. And uh, that's again, also very, I experienced unconditional love. And it contributed mm -hmm. much more to my life and success than any Cambridge and Oxford. And uh, you know what? I believe that we can do the same for our kids. And uh, we, we uh, my family, my parents was quite poor. We had no TV, uh, but we played musical instruments. We sat around the table, we discussed. It was a great contribution to my life. But mm -hmm. last but not least, my wife. One of the most important things in life is to find a right spouse. Find the right spouse. If you do a lot, if you do it, a lot of good things are going to happen. And I personally experienced it. My wife is sitting next to me and uh, she, she's turning pages and I'm extremely blessed by my wife. This is very important to find the right one, the right spouse. Yeah, that's, that's my family. Uh, thank you uh, for, for being so being so open with us uh, in that. You also mentioned that you are a Christian. And uh, I would like to ask you what role uh, your personal faith in Jesus Christ uh, really uh, was in your uh, entrepreneurship. Uh, why it is so important and how it really affected your decisions. Uh... You know, yes, I'm a Christian. Uh, my faith gives me a, a life purpose and, and hope. I know where I'm heading, and it also gives me some, some inner peace and joy. Mm. And uh, I always say that Jesus is the great counselor, advisor, friend, giving me direction and help, help, help make uh, my decision. Probably many of you know that the Bible is one of the best book about leadership and, and uh, entre entrepreneurship. So really mm -hmm. my faith is my base, my fundament. Yeah, that's, that's a very important part of my life. And uh, it is, this, this is about a, a personal relationship with my God. Right? Without this relationship, I, uh, we have a 
we feel some emptiness, but uh, and people try to to fill this emptiness with the with the achieving goals, building careers, uh, or hobby traveling, which which is good, but. You know what? In my life, I experience all of this. Uh, I would say su- worldly success, like mm. money, power, uh, prestige. But I have to say now that nothing brought me such big sense of meaningful and 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 sense of and purpose, like like relationship with deep relationship with Jesus. That's a very important thing. Yeah. So, uh, if you if you look at your decisions uh, in business, uh, was there any role of the Christianity that the, you would uh, decide in a different way if you would not be a Christian or not? Uh, probably yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is. This is my fundament. My my faith is my fundament. So I would say all my decision is uh, I try. I'm not perfect for sure, but I try to make my decision uh, based on my faith. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So let's let's come to that uh, that uh, for me crazy decision you have made uh, several years ago uh, which was really like life-changing decision help us understand why you sold such a successful company like Walmart and started to focus on different projects so um, you know what after 22 years in the in the same business pharmaceutical business we felt a bit not frustrated, but we, we we need we felt we need a fresh fresh blood to our company, and at that time it was 2012. Many big names, big pharmaceuticals company like Sanofi, Aventis, and others knocked at our door, and they, they wanted to buy us. Mm. Uh, but we said we are not ready to sell company, uh, so we decided to move our just financial investor to our company and we sold it with a big London-based uh, private equity fund with 50%. But this partnership in 2012, this partnership didn't work well because it was family business culture with a corporate fa- culture and uh, this was not a, a, a good partnership. So after three years, we decided to sell the rest of the company. And uh, we so we sold company and we set investment company, uh, which is his name, Aternus. So now uh, uh, we invest in different kind of assets uh, in the companies, in a private equity fund. 40% of our investment is uh, uh, to, into the technology company, startups, uh, real estate. So we are like, like classical family, family office. And also the philanthropy uh, plays a significant role. And uh, we have, so I would say we have three legs. We have an Aternus investment. We said three W, three Valach Brothers Fund for giving. And we also do collaboration among among givers uh, in Europe. We build collaboration among givers country by country and also on the pan-European level. I would say that the that the philanthropy and and giving plays a really significant role for us. We we wanted to give back to the society. Uh, we we want to make dif- make difference in our society and uh, and I strongly believe what I mentioned before my face that we are blessed to be blessing to others. And and this is also the the, the very important component giving give us a great joy it's not that we have to give we we like it we love it we love to be to be to give to give to the important and strategic strategic issues and uh, recently with my two brothers we decided to transfer 50 percent of our total wealth into the into the 
foundation, irrevocable foundation. So uh, we are now in the process. We, one can ask maybe that uh, what was our our inspiration, it could be the giving pledge, you know, giving pledge billionaires made in, in US. It was some kind of inspiration, but the greatest inspiration for us was Jesus. He gave everything, he gave his life so, so we can give also, uh, we can share our resources, not only money, but also our experience, our time. And I would like to say that for us, we are an entrepreneurs. We like entrepreneur to be entrepreneurs and we like leverage we like multiplication mm. so we decided to build collaboration among givers we called it european great commission collaboration and we built we strongly believe that collaboration is the answer uh, and we can be much effective givers if we collaborate with others and we build it in the czech republic we have about uh, 40 givers in our network, in Poland, 50 givers, in Romania, we build it in UK, Switzerland, and also as a pan-European project. And uh, it's easier to be, to have on, on your own foundation. It will be easier because it's not easy to collaborate. But if you want to have a bigger impact, we, 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 we believe that collaboration is, is an answer. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, I would say, my our last project or our last involvement, and it's growing. We are very happy that, that we are, it's growing, this collaboration. Wow. Yeah, that's, uh, that's briefly I, I, I what we are doing now. I to speak about this, uh, uh, this uh, numbers and percentage, like 50%. Uh, I'm, I'm so happy to hear you that you consider giving as a joy. Um, uh, we still have a little time before we will break out uh, into the small groups to discuss it. So we have still some time to, to say anything about your uh, current uh, uh, project, the Aternos project, and, and what you are doing now. Uh, you mentioned some, some trips to Africa to me when we were speaking uh, yesterday together. Could you, could you tell us something about that? Uh, yes, uh, we decided with my family, my two brothers, to to go to South Africa. When there is a big uh, Mergon Foundation, it's also a Christian foundation. They do investment and they do giving uh, because we we are still learning. We 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 are not perfect, and we we would like to learn from others. And we are also here to share our experience with others. If uh, some of uh, of you would like to set foundation or would like to learn in giving, we are here to serve. We really want to serve because I strongly believe that the generosity in Europe is a still big market. We can we can grow in generosity. Yeah. Uh, we are not as much philanthropic as maybe US or even the UK. So there is a great market. And uh, uh, I when I travel, when I meet with the with the business people, I always share, I try to share my story and I try to share how is how strategic generosity is important. And I will travel, I will trip to South Africa, hopefully it will be in January. And the reason is to meet the similar people like us, investors and givers. Hmm. And uh, when you also ask me about uh, our Atenus project, we are not only right. three brothers, but two former top managers from Balmar company, mm. our former CEO and marketing marketing director is with us. And they are with us for 30 years. We built a great relationship uh, with them. So I hope that they will be with, with us a long time. Great. Thank you very much, Adam. Uh, before I ask you the, uh, the, the last question uh, prior to our groups, I would like to ask, all of you, uh, please uh, uh, check your names, how you really have your names uh, on your uh, Zoom personal screen. We need you to put there the first name, the last name, and then the abbrevi abbreviation of your country. Uh, so such a country code like PL for Poland or CZ for Czech, UA for Ukraine, 
so we can really put you into the correct discussion group just after the uh, last question which is adam could you uh, could you tell uh, uh, tell us uh, something about uh, your uh, your plans for the future what you are planning to do on the field of uh, generosity uh, maybe on the on the field of the business uh, or even in uh, in an investment company just briefly uh, okay so 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 uh as I mentioned, uh, I like to spread the message of generosity and mm. I, I like to spread the message of strategic generosity. So uh, when I travel across Europe, when I met with, with, with Christian business people, uh, I try to encourage them to be generous, to be strategically generous. And it's my calling. I, I uh, Hopefully I will do it uh, next 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 uh, next several years and uh, as i mentioned our business this year was also, also even the, in the covid situation we didn't invest it in the assets which were affected by covid so we are building our our company uh, uh, our multifamily office but we really uh, believe that we are blessed to be blessing so we we really we try to do business with purpose you know we we make profit with purpose we make profit to give it away uh, for the good for the good good causes and uh, uh, and also i i believe that the other uh, business people or christian business people can do can do something similar uh, not only being an ethical businessman but also to to uh, uh, to spend some time to be more involved, you know, uh, maybe in this in this topic, I, may, I I would like to mention in 1999 in Harvard Business Review, mm. there was an article published by Peter Drucker, managing oneself, and it was also great inspiration for me. He mentioned Peter Drucker that nowadays we live in the very wealthy society and people can find a second role. It doesn't mean that you have to sell your company, but even being a top manager, even having a company, you can you can find a second role to be to be involved in some transcendent causes, to be involved in, in as a volunteer, as a philanthropes. And I strongly encourage people to find a second role because it brings again a passion in the if you are in the middle um, middle age. So that's also something I would like to share with you. Mm. And uh, and something also very specific, uh, as we are building our vehicle, our European Great Commission collaboration, we are looking now for two and three more people uh, to to join to us, to join to our giving vehicle, to our foundation. So we are looking for grant making managers and also for the uh, for the top uh, top managers for for this. European Great Commission collaboration, not only in Czech Republic, also in Poland, or we can accept people from uh, other countries from Europe. I am very much, I'm, we are very blessed because this is a really great blessing. You know what? I strongly believe that luck plays 50% role in your success in business. But I wouldn't say luck, I would say God blessings, you know. I'm not smarter, not better. I am not Harvard alumni, but I, I were blessed too much. I don't deserve such blessing. That's it. Thank you very much, Adam. Thank you very much, Adam. Uh, uh, as I cannot, I cannot see much questions right now in the chat window. We have a time to. Uh, to ask in a smaller group, to speak in a smaller groups right now. So we will have a, now 30 minutes in small groups to discuss what we have heard from Adam. Uh, every group will have a facilitator and uh, there will be three questions to discuss. Uh, now we will send you into discussion groups and uh, please uh, come, uh, come back. Uh, in uh, in half an hour from now on, 
So uh, who has now the uh, 1740? Uh, it means the 1820. Uh, some of those are an hour ahead, so recount that. So in half an hour from now on, 17, uh, 1820 in uh, Prague or Central European time. Remind them to respond to the prompt. Yes, uh, yes, and please uh, uh, respond to the prompt you will see on your screens and it will lead you to the uh, right group. And if they don't get a prompt, they need to unmute themselves so I can find out what group they want to go to. Great. Going now. <clears throat> Back here now, Adam. Uh, so uh, uh, now we have uh, will have like a, uh, like a maybe time for two more questions, and I would like to ask uh, Linda, which was in our group. Uh, she had a very nice question, and Adam started to answer that, and then we uh, agreed that we would not uh, leave it for ourselves selfishly, our group. So, and we will share that with all of you. So, Linda, please, could you? Repeat that last question and Adam, could you answer that? Yeah, I just wanted to know from Adam, uh, when he decided, he and his brothers decided, when is the right time for selling the company? I mean, even initially, because in the second phase, when they sold the, the rest of the company, I understood because it was kind of mismatching between corporate culture and family culture. But I think in the beginning, because being a business in a big market like Polonia, uh, they might have had a lot of offers. So when he decided that now is the right time, and for these reasons, I'm selling the company. Uh, I'm curious to know. Thank you, Anna. Anna. Uh, this is a this is a good question because I can imagine many of entrepreneurs can struggle with this. It's not easy we didn't plan to sell our company. We even sought initially to keep it long, long time. And we thought maybe one day, but it happened when I mentioned after 22 years in the same business that we, we, we thought about the fresh blood and uh, not to selling majority or, or whole company, but just to have some investor with the new people, new ideas. And it didn't happen. Our partnership with the financial fund was not was not great. Uh, so we saw the rest. Uh, but uh, you. But what is the important and what I can share with others? This is very important to plan this process properly. To have a advisor, to have a counselor, uh, and. Uh, in our case, uh, we we were blessed or lucky because the one of the biggest investment bank, Rothschild Bank from London, they knocked at our door and they say, guys, you are a good target for selling. We would like to be your advisor and we're also good, good lawyers. But uh, And also, as a, again, we prayed. We prayed about this decision. We are Christians, so it was not only managerial decision. And we, we felt that uh, it would be good finally to sell all the companies. So if you think about selling company, prepare it well and ask other people about the experience. Try to find a good, good, counsel, good, good counsel or good consultant. Yeah. And it's, it could be different in each, each particular case. But this is really very, very important decision. And what our biggest fear was what we would do after selling company because we are very active but you know what we are no now we are more busy than before that because now we have many other projects so there was the fear and i'm a half timer i like the half time concept and uh, now i'm more busy than i i were when we had a balmar company hmm. and you don't need to be uh, you don't need to be afraid of what you what you would do after selling company there are so many uh, if you know your calling and 
maybe Honza, can I see my last, my last maybe maybe information? I sure, sure. I would like to about to ask you yeah. to the last last question, and you can yeah, so you can then hear the last one. Yeah, yeah. One, one of the most crucial decision in my life was to finding my my personal calling. And I, I very much strongly recommend to each of you, if you don't know it, to really to, to find your personal mission statement. Why? And it is process. It's not overnight. Because by knowing your calling, your purpose, and doing it, you will experience a great joy and fulfillment. So, so you will be focused. You will be able to say no to things which are not in line with your purpose. And also, you will be what God has designed you to be. So this is this is very important. And uh, if you don't know your calling, try to find try to find it. Uh, and I would say maybe don't give up in searching for meaning. And don't don't be happy with shallow answers. So when you ask me why you sell company, believe me, it was in line with my calling. It was not oh now there is a buyer i'm going to sell it was really in line with my calling and i would like if this is maybe the final conclusion to share with you again how i see success mm. for for me it's not money and power probably for many of you but it's a deep and meaningful relations with wife kids and friends it is a and most important relation, of course, with, with our creator, with my God. And uh, speaking about money, money is nice to have. But uh, I don't want yacht, airplane, another house or a car, just because that is what rich people have. No, I want to be around those I love and do what I love to do. It's the much more important. Is It's really success for me. This is a success for me. And uh, speaking about the decision, the, the most important decision in my life was to become a believer, follower mm -hmm. of Christ. It changed everything and gave me life, life purpose and sense. And if you are follower of Christ, many complicated questions you will be answered. <laughs> maybe Honza, for the maybe la my last uh, uh, slide to share with you, I strongly believe in the question why. Ask why you are doing what you are doing. Yes. And uh, my why is uh, why I'm doing what what I shared with you, and. Uh, you know what? God gave Jesus and Jesus gave everything. This is my answer to his love. This is my calling. I am really in my calling. I do what I was called by God to do. And also maybe to all of you, I believe that God is doing something special and significant these days in Europe. In Europe. And I'm very much persuaded that donors, business people, will play a very important role in God's plans for you. Yes. Yeah, that's that's my condition, conditions. And there are not many successful people, not many business people, uh, Christian business people. So our role is very unique. Yeah, that's it. And thank you very much for listening, for being with me. Adam, thank you. Thank you very, very much. And uh, 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 um, that what you have said at the end, I would not uh, cover it with any other uh, question. Just uh, I would like to that this will remain in our our uh, heads and our hearts. So hearing from you today, it was so 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 inspiring for me, so challenging. Um, uh, I tried to focus on an interview, but I had to take my pen and to do at least some notes, which were really important for me. So I'm, I'm looking forward to when I will start to apply these things I have here. So, uh, so thank you very much for all you shared with us. And now I have a very special announcement for all participants, all of you who are here. Uh, 
uh, Adam was so gracious and that we could decide to try something new this month. Uh, in previous webinars, uh, there were usually much more questions than we were able to answer uh, during the time. Uh, so the, the speaker couldn't uh, say everything, but we want to give to all of you the, an opportunity to ask questions directly to Adam. And to facilitate that, Adam uh, really graciously agreed uh, to make himself available for a dedicated question and answer session Q and tomorrow at the same time from 17 to 18 CET. Central European time, the same time like today for an hour. So as soon as uh, today's webinar is completed, you will receive an email invitation for tomorrow's special Q&A session. So if you want to participate, in, participate, don't forget to register. Don't forget to register on the registration form sent there. At this time, we are near to the close uh, to this uh, this uh, event, so you will be we will break up into the groups by country, and there in the countries country groups uh, you can hear more about what the leader impact is doing in your country. So once again, thank you for being with us today. Uh, thank you, Adam for your very inspiring talk and everything you shared with us. Now you'll be sent to country breakout rooms and you will finish the webinar there. Hey, Nolan. Hey. Oh, Yelena. Yelena. Walk. 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 Sebastian, I Sebastian, oh. je, je Marcela, je, je tvo, tvoj žena? Mama. Mama, Mama. aha. Mama super, je to. Super, super, super. Čao svima. Uh, uh, ovo je samo, samo na par minuta da, da možemo se pozdraviti i malo ovaj, se upoznat. Uh, Um, a da ja i onda kažemo mislim da neki od vas ili većina od vas ste vi nekako upoznati s nama u fokusu inače Leader Impact je um, dio međunarodne organizacije u kojem spada uh, udruge Fokus uh, u Europi i, um, uh, i jako smo mi zahvalni i sredni kako, koliko su ljudi zapravo 20 su ljudi, 20 su ljudi registrirali za za seminar večeras i uh, uh, to je jako velik broj s obzirom na to da, da, da opet je za vrijeme godine je to sve. Um, Domogoj Malović koji je inače predsjednik a, Focus je tu s nama i možda, ne znam, 60 sekundi je možda dosta na kao jedna minuta Domogoj ako hoćeš nama malo boj uh, predstaviti za, za ljudi koji su s nama prvi put. Ako si, ako možeš. Ja sumijem da išta mogu reći u 60 sekundi, ali... Da, 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 ovaj, ovaj kao learning task, znaš to uh, uh, Pozdrav svima, ja sam ovaj, bio u grupi sa Marcelom, ostavili su nas same, ja se nadam da nisam bio previše ovoga napora, nemo, baš pričamo o karijer direkt programu. Kako bi naj, najlakše opisao uh, udrugu Fokus, osim što smo partneri sa partnerom i organiziramo ovaj GLS, postojimo tu od ratnih dana, kada je među Hrvatima postojala velika potreba za razmišljanjem o smislu života i tada su se ljudi okupljali oko poruke vjere, oko toga neke ideje da ima nešto više. Dakle, od 1993. 1994. godine dijelujemo do sada. Sad radimo sa obiteljima, radimo sa sportašima, imamo službu koja se bavi sa ženama, sa poslovnim ljudima. Nolan to vodi, Global Leadership Summit je dio toga. Radimo sa studentima, zaista smo onako jako razgranata udruga. Naš moto je mijenjaj sebe, mijenjaj društvo. Vjerujemo da promjena dolazi od nas, ne od nekog boljeg političara. Od promjena vrijednosti želimo ljude suočiti sa kršćanskim svjetonazorom. Želimo to napraviti na osjetljiv način jer danas ljudi, sa, ja mislim i nažalost sa opravdanjem, imaju sumnji prema kršćanskom svjetonazoru jer vide puno zla koji 
koje se radi u uh, ime toga. Pokušavamo promijeniti ploču uh, i drago nam je vidjeti da sve više ljudi, kao i uh, poštovana gospođa Marcela, rezoniraju s time da se dešavaju predivne stvari u Hrvatskoj kao GLS, kao ova konferencija i ja se nadam da ćemo se u budućnosti naučiti više umrežavati i raditi zajedno jer to je jedini način da promijenimo društvo onako iz temelja.